Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your DSTV decoder to the projector. And the projector we're going to use in this case is the ESA X113 projector, which you can buy from a local electronic shop or online from the ESA Corporation uh, site. So I'll take you step by step until we get to view the 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 video which is being projected by that projector which is on the stool there so you can see the decoder here at the bottom here is the ordinary dstv decoder you can see that it's a dstv decoder and the card is inserted here as usual and then the power light is also on so from the DSTV decoder, remember there will be three cables which are coming out from it. There's the red cable, there's the white cable, and there's the yellow cable. The white cable and the sorry the white cable and the red cable are for the sound, while the yellow cable is for the video, isn't it? So in this case, we are going to connect the white cable and the red cable onto the woofer, which is here on the chair the woofer which is here on the chair while we are going to use the yellow cable to connect it to to the projector so usually the yellow cable is what we put here on the yellow port on the tv but in this case we are not going to use the tv but instead sorry instead we are going to use the projector as our display for the video or for the for the picture from the decoder so depending on where you want to locate your projector you may also need what we call as connectors this is a connector that will enable you to extend the length of the distance between your projector and what and the decoder so in this way this cable sorry this connector you'll pro, you'll connect the yellow cable from the decoder here and extend it with another banana cable from this other side here so i'll demonstrate that by showing you how i've connected the connectors at the floor here excuse my disorganization there but this is the connector here this is the connector and as you can see the yellow cable from the decoder is here then it enters the connector and then it comes out from that and then you join it onto the banana cable another banana cable which i bought local in the shop remember banana cable will usually be having two cables so you can you can just use one of the lines of the banana cable to take the picture further so upon using the connector it means that you are extending the length of the distance where you can put your projector but it also depends on how far from the uh, from the pro, from the decoder your projector is located but for me i decided to extend it further and i will tell you the reason in a short while so from this white cable as you're seeing there it goes like that passes behind that chair and then goes this way up to the projector which is located on the stool here so on the stool here we have the projector there you can see that's the power cable. You can see this is the other cable that came from the connector. You can see that? That's the other cable that came from the connector. And you're seeing that this is the ESA projector. The type of ESA projector in this case is X113 model. X113 model. So that cable that came from the connector uh, that had been connected to the uh, VGA, sorry, from the um, yellow cable on the decoder you then connect it onto the port which is less illustrated as what as the video as the video port on the projector so remember when you're doing a, a powerpoint presentation you'll be connecting the vga cable here but in this case we're not using a vga cable we're using that cable that came from the connector onto the video port on the projector so once you've done that then you'll see that the image may start showing depending on the setting on the remote of the projector. Remember, once you buy the ESA projector, it will also be coming with its remote. And that remote looks something like this. That remote looks something like this. That's the remote of that ESA projector. 
the projector there on the stool. Its remote is here. Now, when you're doing the PowerPoint presentation, usually it is the VGA mode, this number four button, the VGA mode that will be on. But when you're doing video on your house to connect the projector to the decoder, you'll have to press what? Press the video button, that label number, sorry, that button label as number six. So by default, when you purchase the projector, it will be in VGA mode, the VGA mode for PowerPoint presentation. So to convert that into the video mode, after you have connected it and you have powered it on, after you have powered on the projector, then you must press what? You must press the power, sorry, you must press the video button, which is button number six there. And upon doing that, then it will start showing the video on the location where you've directed the projector to. So the projector is there on the stool and I've removed the other items from the room just to show you how the video is showing on the screen. So it's there, the picture is there on the screen and it's quite clear in fact. So you can see this is 2021. Al Jazeera is still covering the Tigray region conflict. This is the Al Jazeera uh, channel, which I'm showing in that case. You can see the news reader there. And the picture may be looking slightly blurry, but the, 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 the cause of that blurriness in this case is just because I've put on the, the electricity bulb. So I'm going to switch it off to show how clear the picture can become when you put off the electricity bulb. So you can see that the picture has become more clearer even in the room because the room has become slightly darker. You can see the writings are very clear there. You can see Thailand reporting a daily high of 9.692 new COVID cases. It's during the COVID season. This is July 2021, exactly on 16th, 16th of July 2021. And the sound from the from the decoder, of course, as I told you earlier, will be connected onto what? Onto the woofer. So this woofer, this woofer here, the two cables for sound, the red and the white one, are connected there onto the woofer to receive the sound from the decoder. But then the video is being channeled onto the projector, which is on that stool on the other side. And remember, the reason as to why I created a longer distance for the projector, sorry, from the decoder, from the decoder to the projector was to enable me to project the view of the projector onto the other wall, which is on the other side that is slightly distant from the decoder. So that's why I had to create that connection between this yellow cable from the decoder to an extension cable, which is a banana cable, but using this connector here, this connector here, which was then used to uh, channel the cable onto another banana cable and all the way up to the projector that is located on that stool. So as you can see, this red cable here is not being utilized. It's not being utilized. Even on the other side, it is also not being utilized. It is here. It is still hanging. It's not being utilized. But if you want to extend the length of the uh, video cable further, you can peel off the red cable and use another connector. Maybe you can use another connector, depending on how many connectors you have. You can use another connector to even stretch the distance further to another further location from the from the from the from the decoder. So in that way, you'll be able to get a nice picture of the video from the ordinary decoder, which you have bought maybe from DSTV or any other company in that case of your choice. So in that way also, you'll be getting a bigger picture, a bigger picture of the video rather than maybe if you don't want to use the ordinary TV that we usually have in the home. So how big is the picture? that you get on the wall when you're projecting. It depends on the distance between the projector, depends on the distance between the projector and the wall on which you are projecting the view. So in this my case, I had measured the distance or the size of the screen, the size of the screen 
between the top part here and the bottom part here. And remember, I'm using just an ordinary wall which is painted white. So the height of that picture is up to the height of the picture is up to about 27 inches about 27 inches and then the width of that picture is up to 5 feet or up to 36 inches sorry not up to 36 inches but up to 5 feet in total and you can see that the picture is very clear quality you can see they are talking about the Indonesian uh, COVID-19 records which has passed the Indian uh, cases in terms of infections and deaths. Remember today is on the 17th of July, sorry, on the 16th of July 2021, which is during the COVID-19 season. And also the other news we are getting is concerning the flooding in Europe with the German Vice Chancellor being in the US for a visit. So that's basically how you connect the DSTV decoder onto the projector so that you get a bigger picture which you can then enjoy at home as your own theater or as your own nice video or nice projection of the TV as you have arranged it. And remember, as I told you earlier, the reason I've extended that cable, that yellow cable from the decoder was to help me to position the projector at another location which is a bit far away from what? From the from the decoder, so that I now project that uh, projector onto a wall which I've designated as the wall where, as the wall where the TV will be viewed from. So any person sitting on that chair on that side, any person sitting here on these other two chairs can comfortably watch the TV from this side without any uh, struggle. So you can see the Lebanon crisis is also being uh, discussed today. Today, remember, is the 16th of July, 2021. Remember, the Lebanon Lebanese Prime Minister had re re resigned or stepped down because they failed to form a government with the current president. So the current news concerning uh, Mr. Hariz or Honor Bariri's resignation is being aired there by that news uh, channel, which is Al Jazeera in this case. To confirm that it's the Al Jazeera channel, here is the local for it. You can see the logo for Al Jazeera, and here, even the name of Al Jazeera is here. So the view is quite big. The view is quite big. And you can see how the news is being broadcast there. Yeah, you can see that reporter is reporting things from Beirut, which is Lebanon, that was rocked by a very bad explosion last year in 2020. You remember that ammonium nitrate fertilizer explosion that was the, that was at the Lebanese port. Yeah, now Lebanon again is in crisis because of the fact that the because of the fact that the Prime Minister, Mr. Hariri, shown there, has actually resigned due to the fact that he could not agree to form government with the current uh, president. You can see the picture is very nice and clear. Even the writings are very nice. So the size of that picture, as I was told you, it was depending on what? On the distance between the projector and the, and the wall on which you are projecting the picture. So for that size of picture, I measured the distance already. The distance between the wall and the projector, I already measured it. It's about 10 feet. 10 feet of distance between the projector and the wall. That's when you can get that amount of what? That amount and that size of the picture. So basically, that's how you can connect your projector to the DSTV decoder so that you get a bigger picture. You can see the crisis in, in uh, the current locations of Lebanon. You can see the protesters in the background, very clear. In fact, you can see when they are throwing stones. So that is how the picture can be nicely projected using a projector from the decoder. You can see the police are retreating back the parking of the vehicles in the streets and basically that's it on how to connect the projector from the decoder onto sorry the the, the view from the decoder onto the projector and onto the wall for a bigger picture thank you